Hi, welcome to Simply Scrapping. Today it's time for a hop with the girls from the lands down under. So we are Australian and New Zealand scrapbookers and we are doing a weekly hop showcasing different things about our lands down under. So the theme for this month is native animals and thank you to the girls for letting me join. Um, I've hopped on halfway through so they very graciously said I could join them so thank you very much for that. So Australian native animals there's lots of them and I've today chosen a photo of a kookaburra. So I know it's a very grey photo it's actually not a black and white photo this was colour um, but it was in a a tree that had lost all its leaves and it was just sitting there quietly actually at the cemetery putting flowers on my parents graves and we turned around and then my husband noticed that in the tree behind us there was this kookaburra just sitting there ever so quietly he was there for ages and he didn't move and I could actually get really really close to get a beautiful photo of him so it's a little bit gray but it's fine you can still see the gorgeous kookaburra so what I'm using for this, and I plan to keep it a fairly simple page, I have white cardstock, that will be my base. The black cardstock is to back my photo. I have just two sheets of patterned paper. They have gum leaves and gun, sorry, gum, not gun. <laughs> gum leaves and gum flowers on them with the cutest little bees. So six by six, but I plan on using those down the side. Then I actually dug out my scan and cut, my brother's scan and cut, which I've had for quite a few years and hardly ever use it. Managed to make a title, weld the letters together, and then do an outline oops, for it to sit on. So that is my title. And while I had the scan and cut out, while I had the scan and cut out, <laughs> I decided to find some images on Creative Fabrica to use as my embellishments because I didn't have anything um, suitable really and I wanted to keep in that theme. So I found some beautiful kookaburra images, watercolour kookaburra images. So I printed those out on white cardstock and cut them out using the scan and cut. And I also found some eucalyptus leaves. Now they're not quite the right colour of eucalyptus leaves, they're a little bit more mint. Um, eucalyptus leaves are more of the olive type of green, but hey, who cares, they're still meant to be eucalyptus leaves, they will work. And then while I was there I thought, well let's look for, for some eucalyptus flowers, gum tree flowers. So um, yeah, I found these as well. So I just managed to um, grab I think there's only two images and the beauty of getting digital files is that you can resize them so what I do is I grab the image I pop it into Word because then it's really easy to print multiples at once and I just resize it whatever size I want in Word and then um, print them out on to cardstock and they come out really really well and then just cut them out with my scan and cut so that is what I'm using for embellishments. I have blue rhinestones to help pick up the blue in the um, bird. And this is probably, technically, probably a kingfisher. Because I'm not sure kookaburras have blue on them. I don't know, I could be wrong. But um, they're the same family anyway, so it works. And then because there's bees in the paper, I have these really cute little gold metal bees to put on. And then a pen because I feel like I want to do um, a little doodle border around the outside. So that is what I'm using and let's get into it.
Okay, there we have it. My kookaburra page. It's nice and simple. I wanted it nice and clean looking so the focus is on the photo and not too much around it. I sort of did add a few more leaves and flowers than I had anticipated. But anyway, pages evolve as you create them. Well, they do with me. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it the thumbs up. Make sure to watch the playlist that's below that has everyone else playing along from Australia and New Zealand. And thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And when you subscribe, hit that notify bell so you know when my next video comes out. Thanks so much for watching and have a scrap happy day. Bye bye.